Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the sand stitch, which is a fun textured pattern. It's almost as though it has uh, popcorns or baubles here, little teeny tiny ones. But they're actually single crochet pico stitches, which we're going to learn how to do today. So this is a fun texture design, all the textures to one side, the back is smooth. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Line Brand, as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. A link, direct link to the free written tutorial can be found on my blog on ridgetexturescrochet.com and it's there in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free stitch tutorial. Our stitch is worked in rows today in this tutorial, so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of four plus two stitches. Today I'm going to chain 22. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to start by working a single crochet into that first stitch, followed by a pico single crochet stitch in the next. This is what's going to give us our texture. To work the pico single crochet, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You're then going to continue holding back that first loop on your hook and you're going to chain three. So yarn over, pull it through that first loop once, twice, and three times. You're then going to yarn over one more time and pull it through both loops on your hook and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to see that your little chain three, your little pico, will stick out the back. That's your pico single crochet followed by a single crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat that in the next stitch. So insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, chain three, holding back that first loop on your hook. So there's one, two, and three. Complete the pico single crochet by yarning over and pulling through both loops on your hook and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. You should now see all of that texture facing you. For row three, we're going to simply single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, chain one and turn your work. At the end of row three, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work some more Pico single crochet stitches, but this time when working, we wanna stagger them a little bit. So for row four, we're going to start by working a single crochet in each of the first two stitches. 
followed by a picot single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch, and now picot single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. Single crochet into each of those final two stitches. At the end of row four, we're going to chain one and turn your work. For row five, we're simply going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across. And that's all there is for the repeat of this pattern. From here on end, you're going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five for as long as you would like, fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to working the sand stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.